Alexander Kozak remains calm as he listens to witnesses speak about the relationship he had with the woman he shot and killed. At the same time, loved ones fight back tears as they listen in, reliving the moments when 20-year-old Andrea Farrington was gunned down. Deanna Brown worked housekeeping at Coral Ridge Mall. She says June 12th, the day of the shooting, Kozak was so angry about getting in trouble with his boss, he was shaking. You could even see it in his jaw and his cheeks because he was just so angry. It looked like he couldn't control himself. Alfredo Parrish, Kozak's high-profile Des Moines attorney, asked every witness on the stand today if they knew about Kozak and Andrea Farrington's personal relationship. None of them knew about the 8,000 text messages Farrington and Kozak exchanged over several months. I was surprised, yes. Why would you be surprised? because I didn't know there was any, I didn't know they were that closely of friends. Parrish says at the same time they were exchanging texts, Farrington would complain about being creeped out by Kozak and about him bothering her. Farrington went to her friend, Wendy Robbins, a security supervisor at the mall on three separate occasions. Robbins told her boss, Sai Prasong, in Sisame, the security director, about Farrington's concerns, and Kozak was reprimanded for them. She was texting him and then telling you that he was interfering with her work. That would have put Mr. Kozak in an unfair situation, don't you think? And Sister May says if Kozak ever contacted Farrington at the mall again, he would no longer have a job.